Now, this is a funny little problem from the ISI entrance 2019 and uh, if you have seen this problem before then great if not just pause the video and see it first read the statement um, it reminds me of the carpets theorem uh, this was in a book by T2 and Rescue and uh, you can look into this idea online as well uh, the carpet theorem has this kind of area problems uh, though this is not particularly solved using a carpet theorem but it's kind of similar so what does it say it says that you are given a quadrilateral Q which is convex so they have defined what is convexity so what is convexity uh, in short convexity is this this uh, figure is convex if you take any two points inside the figure and join it by a straight edge and that entire straight edge is inside that figure so the picture that I have drawn is not convex because if I take up two points here and if I try to join that using a straight edge portion of that straight edge will be outside the figure so this is not convex uh, we are interested in those quadrilaterals which are convex so before I go into that let me draw a quadrilateral which is not convex not convex quadrilateral and you can pause the video and give it a try yourself uh, this is an example of a quadrilateral which is not convex uh, it has four sides you can see a b c d four vertices and four sides and um, if you take two points let's say one point here one point here then line joining them will be partially outside the quadrilateral which makes it not convex anyway so we have a convex quadrilateral q of area one uh, so let's draw an arbitrary quadrilateral something like this maybe Oops. a b c d and the, it's given that the area of the quadrilateral is one and uh, we want to enclose this quadrilateral a b c d within another quadrilateral of area two so this quadrilateral should be put inside another one another quadrilateral in fact this quadrilateral has to be a rectangle so a rectangle another rectangle uh, so it's a rectangle of area 2 and this one is given to be of area 1 so that's our job our job is to find that rectangle in which we can put this quadrilateral in this area one quadrilateral can we always do that that's the question so this um, solution was supplied by one of the chinta faculties Rito Broto so thanks to him uh, here is what he says uh, he says that just join BD either join BD or AC doesn't matter which one you want to join but join any one of them join BD you will get at least one diagonal which will work this will this is by convexity so once you join BD so this is step one step one join BD or AC one of them will work by convexity and then drop perpendiculars on BD from the other two vertices let's say BD is the one that is working uh, so drop perpendiculars let's call them R and S one thing you have to check is that this perpendicular is not outside the quadrilateral since it is convex uh, one of the two diagonals would work but you need to have a solid argument for that okay so step two drop perpendiculars from the other two vertices on the diagonal okay now 
this is right angle and we will be creating a rectangle here so let's join and create a rectangle like this let's call this point x so what i just did is i i created a x which is perpendicular to a r and i created dx which is perpendicular to dr at d and they meet at x so naturally this will be a rectangle similarly uh, draw a rectangle here so you can always erect perpendiculars at the point a and b so suppose this point is y this is 90 degree this is 90 degree this is 90 degree so uh, first notice that x a y is a straight line why because these two are 90 degrees so they add up to 180 degree hence it's a straight line similarly you can complete this rectangle and you may complete that rectangle okay so you have all the rectangles completed now notice that um, each of these red pieces is congruent to the green pieces and what I have done is I have divided the our given rectangle our given quadrilateral into four triangles and I have produced four more triangles which have equal area with these so naturally the area of the green region will be equal to the area of the red region so maybe I can write that area of green region is equal to area of red simply by congruency and hence we are done because then the red is one we know that the area of the quadrilateral is one so the greens area must also be equal to one so the area of x y z w this particular uh, rectangle is two so we have successfully enclosed um, this quadrilateral use in, inside this rectangle more ideas in the link in the description and also um, in this is sometimes discussed in the geometry module of Chinta program where we talk also about the carpets theorem it's a funny little theorem uh, have a look into it uh, thank you and keep doing great problems